everybody and welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing well um bear with me i will say because i am trying something different with the uh, audio so hopefully it's going to be a lot better but we know you to talk about that we're going to carry on talking and guessing and eagerly anticipating war cry being released so Today I'm going to have a quick look over what GW have said about the campaign system. So if you're interested in Warcry and you're definitely interested in doing the campaign, well, stay tuned as we go through what could be an epic system. Right then guys, um, for the start, GW have said that they believe it's going to be worth starting a campaign with a thousand points of a warband um, as we can see from previous cards which we haven't shown on the channel but we've seen on the community page is it quite easy to get up to the year uh, thousand points because they're all 200 or like down to 168 depending on the the uh, position within the warband so it's quite a small, tight knit war band to begin with, so I kind of like that because the whole point of a campaign is you know, you start off small and then you become living legends towards the end. In the case of Warcry, you are conquering a terrain part of the Blood Boil Spire, so. You know, it, it, it gives a narrative feel and I think that's amazing. So, from the information they've dropped so far, I believe a campaign is nine games in total. But I'll tell you as we go through why I believe it's that. So, you're going to pick your, you're gonna pick your warband. You're going to pick your, you know, the members of your warband. And then you've got to pick um, what campaign quest you want to go on. And it's going to be quite a few. And I think they've said in the core book they've dedicated 50 pages to campaign, campaign information. So it's going to be quite lengthy. But I've got some examples by here for the. <coughs> and here we go, guys. We've got some examples of Iron Golem campaigns. Or campaign quests, I should say. So, if you can read uh, the screen, because I know it's probably going to be a bit small, I don't mean if you're illiterate or not. Um, you've got Conquer the Forge, Curse Metal. So, Conquer the Forge is you've gone into an area, supposedly there's a well known armory or forge, and you've got to conquer it in the name of the Iron Golems so they can arm the ever chosen with their weapons and be known as the best war band or you can you know try and secure rare metals and i believe the example they've given is invictinite which to me seems like it's up there with unobtainium and transformium because oh, they're just amazing with names aren't they so invictinite you know anyway i'm getting uh i'm getting uh side clock now so you pick your warband you've picked the the fighters in your warband and you've picked your quest you gotta head out into your battles now so um you know pick your part battles there's gonna be what they call three um convergence battles and i think it's you know Three, well, three conversion battle, battles, six normal battles. So that's why I think it's going to be nine. Is because it seems to be a, a, every three battles is a convergence, and you got to do the convergence to win. But anyway, after every battle, um, you've got to consolidate your losses. You've got to level up your players, and you know you got to see if you can find rare artifacts or. If you can find 
minor artifacts, which is going to be called the aftermath phase. So GW have kindly told us what uh, is going to be involved within the aftermath phase. So let's have a quick look. And here we are, guys. This is the aftermath phase. So number one earn and spend your glory points i'm guessing glory points are getting objectives taking out leaders possibly killing chaotic beasts we won't know until we have the book in hand and i know possibly if taking down a certain unit we'll come back to it if i'm wrong you can always point this out and tell me and I will hold my hands up. Uh, you make your injury rolls. So I'm guessing if you've got any downed, uh, downed fighters, you can see if they're injured. So they might have injuries going forward, or they might they might just die on the battlefield. Uh, you gain destiny dice, and I believe they said destiny dice are the way to level up your fighters. So they can get certain stats. But they won't. They wouldn't get uh, command traits because they come in convergence battles. So you can level up your fighters. You can either remove some of your injured ones to get new fighters. So it's always a balance you can go. You can get with. Do you want? Have you got a level up fighter with a niggling injury? And you can say right, but he's useless to me. I'll get. I'll get somebody from the ground floor. It's totally up to you. That is how you personalize your warband uh, search for lesser artifacts which we will go over some of the artifacts after advance on the campaign progress tracker earn artifacts of, of power and command traits and number seven is how is you know what I'm on about with your convergence battles so let's have a look at a battle pack for that right then guys um, now we're going on to the convergence battles and as, as GW have told us these are pivotal points in your campaign where you've got to win to advance so this is like how I see it is like it's a tabletop version of total war where you've got to get certain artifacts or certain uh, points of power you've got to go into like legendary battles so this is how i see the convergence battles they are the, those pivotal moments that is where your warband legend is made um they've also said um there's three convergences pivotal battles uh, your first one is uh you're rewarded with an artifact power your second you give the leader a command trade and they've left the third one blank because I'm guessing that's where you have completed your your quest, you have conquered your territory, your quest is it all complete, you are the power in that territory. So um what else can I say? These are this is gonna be your main buffing part of your uh, war band. This is where like they they says you get your artifacts and your port your warlord traits i think it's a it's a good system so far that i can see because it, it keeps you involved there's not no way that you are um ever gonna feel like you're dropping someone behind because you might have won a few battles but unless you can win the convergence battles you ain't getting in getting closer to uh to winning the campaign so it's really interesting it's it seems to be it's going to be very involved which i don't mind i really don't mind because as i've spoken about before we are doing a blood bowl league for the or for the local uh, club so we like to get you know involved in systems so i can't wait to see this i can't wait to get the, in the book and read over it and um yeah um i just don't know what else to say this is fantastic this is a campaign book this is 
I know it's lit it's a little system, it's not like it's two thousand points or anything like that. But it's amazing. This is as far as I can see in the pre I am hyped because this seems like one of the best skirmish battle systems GW have done. And that's just from the uh, that's just from looking at the previews of it. And I can't wait for the system. And that, ladies and gents, is the end of the video. I hope you stuck with me through all this. I hope the audio was better than the last video. I will hold my hands up. I don't know what happened, and I got to apologise. And if you've stuck through this video, please leave a comment whether you agree that this is a good system or whether you see flaws already in the system. Or if you're not interested, just let me know. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like it and share it. Because YouTube have decided my little channel is not worth sharing anymore. Considering um, I was get, I was add links in other videos. Like for some reason, I added in an Anne Summers show, and then it was in different it was in different other channels. Um, also available to view stuff, but no more. I am. Um, out on my own, out on the fringes. So, it's only with you guys' help that other people will see it. So, if you're a subscriber, please share. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and share. It means so much to me. And I can't, I can't wait to get this system. I can't wait to get this system in hand. Are you guys excited about Warcry just like me? Just let me know. Um. I, I got to do this at the end. This is the little bit of shilling that everybody does. We got a PayPal uh, account, so the link is at on the bottom. We got Twitter, we got Instagram. Um, I'm still in a fight with Facebook, so fuck Facebook at the moment. Uh, and we got a Teespring's account. So if you want to help the channel, but you want a little bit of a, you know, to show off that uh, you are supporting the channel, we have got some new way on Teespring's. So, I think that's all the shilling, and all I got left to say is thank you very much for uh, watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio, people.